Hello and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to rebatch or repurpose soap, unused or leftover soap. So if you have not subscribed to our channel, I will encourage you to subscribe and then hit the notification to get updates anytime we upload a new video. If you have subscribed already, we thank you so much. And please be one of people who put our video on pen drives and sell it to you. We don't work with anybody. Just be mindful of those people. When you want to repurpose your leftover soap or use or maybe soap that is waste that you would think that is waste, you will need salt and then some water. You put the salt in the water and then put it on fire. Then you cut the soap into pieces or you grate everything and then you pour into your hot water and allow everything to melt. After some time, you bring it down and then pour into your mold again and leave it overnight. By morning, everything will happen again. Or you can pour into a pill and then leave it overnight. You are done with your soap repurposing. Let's get started. So um, this is our some soaps that we have here. They are all from you know past videos that we've kept. So we want to repurpose all these soaps together for you to see how you can just rebatch your soap. Mm -hmm. So when you are making laundry soap, uh, when you are using the wooden mold uh, to cut, after cutting you will see there will be some pieces that you wouldn't know what to do with it. Mm -hmm. So you can go, you can use this method to break back, uh, redo it again, and then you get your soap into a new shape. Mm -hmm. Or let's say you do a particular soap that maybe it doesn't form very well, please, you can use this method to rebatch it to make it good again. All right, so we are going to cut them into pieces and then we put our salt and water on fire and then we add it and it will be done with our soap. If you are in Ghana and you went for a training and the training has this video or any of my videos on a pen drive given to you, I don't work with them. So if you do and get any problem, please call them. If you want me to train you, call the number up on your screen. If you need ingredients for this product, call the number below the screen. Thank you. So just if you do the soup and let's say it becomes too soft for your liking, you can just use this method to rebatch, redo it again, so that you get a very perfect soup. So we will just go off and then cut this soup very fast for us to continue. So um, this is it after cutting it into pieces. It's not quite small, small, but you can go very, very small. Okay, so we are going to heat our water with the salt and then we add this uh, grated or, you know, this soup to it for it to melt. So we've added, um, we are going to add two liters of water. I've already added one liter uh, to it and I will add some tablespoons of salt to it. And then we wait for it to heat, become hot and then we add our soap. Do you like this video? If you like the video, I will encourage you to join my WhatsApp group. Pay only 100 CDs and you'll be added to the group. To learn more about the products, registration, branding and marketing of the products, 
I will leave the link to the WhatsApp group in the description box. Follow the link to join the WhatsApp group. So the fryer must be on low heat so that you don't get a lot of foam at the top of the soap. We are going to add the soup. If you are in Ghana and you went for a training and the training has this video or any of my videos on a pen drive given to you, I don't work with them. So if you do and get any problem, please call them if you want me to train you call the number up on your screen if you need ingredients for this product call the number below the screen thank you Do you like this video? If you like the video, I will encourage you to join my WhatsApp group. Pay only 100 CDs and you will be added to the group. To learn more about the products, registration, branding and marketing of the product, I will leave the link to the WhatsApp group in the description box. Follow the link to join the WhatsApp group. So we are going to leave it on the fire for everything to melt, all of it to melt, and then we pour it into our mold. So we we'll just have to come back to the video when everything is ready. So this is it now. You can see there's a little foam. Uh, if we had, uh, uh, you know, boiled the thing on high heat. There will be so many foam, or so much foam at the top. So it's now ready. So we'll go and pour into our mold. If you are in Ghana and you went for a training, and the training has this video or any of my videos on a pen drive given to you. I don't work with them. So if you do and get any problem, please call them. If you want me to train you, call the number up on your screen. If you need ingredients for this product, call the number below the screen. Thank you.
if it will harden in the in the mold or bowl you will see it from whatever you are going to use to stir so i'm using this so if i lift it you see how it's dropping the reach you see the last one see how it's dropping to tell you that it will harden when it cools down so we are going to pour into our mold Do you like this video? If you like the video, I will encourage you to join my WhatsApp group. Pay only 100 CDs and you'll be added to the group. To learn more about the products, registration, branding and marketing of the product, I will leave the link to the WhatsApp group in the description box. Follow the link to join the WhatsApp group. If you are in Ghana and you went for a training and the training has this video or any of my videos on a pen drive given to you, I don't work with them. So if you do and get any problem, please call them. If you want me to train you, call the number up on your screen. If you need ingredients for this product, call the number below the screen. Thank you. So this is the state of our soap now. So you are going to check whether it has dried completely. If not, we'll leave it for some few more hours for it to dry completely. Okay, so we are going to take one and then check it out. So I can see it has not completely dried. So I will take it out for you to see. So you can see there's a little amount down there that is, has not been able to dry. But as we've taken this one out, when we leave this one open, it will dry. Okay, so this is the soap. This is how you are going to remake or repurpose your soup or rebatch your soup. Like I mentioned, if you have not subscribed, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification to get updates anytime we upload a new video. And please, like I mentioned, be mindful of people who have been giving our video to you on a pen drive. Please, we don't work with anybody, so please treat those people as scammers or fake. We thank you so much for watching this video. We'll meet again.